Hello, and welcome back to 365 Days with MXM Tune, but with a twist. I'm Maya, a singer, songwriter, video maker, and Oakland native. I'm also a huge fan of history. I love untold stories, gross facts, hidden secrets, anything weird, dark, and funky from the past. This month, we have some very special episodes. Each week, one of my friends will be taking over the podcast to share their favorite deep cuts with you. This week's host is Ricky Montgomery, who you may recognize from songs like Mr. Loverman or Line Without a Hook. So Ricky, take it away. It's 365 with Ricky Montgomery. New facts every day, so don't leave too soon. I'm gonna teach you stuff, no it won't be tough. Gonna go a year till you've had enough. It's 365. Today, in 1955, Winston Churchill officially resigned as Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. Churchill was a towering figure in British politics, serving as Prime Minister from 1940 to 1945 and leading Great Britain through World War II. And from 1951 to 1955, he became head of the UK Parliament again, overseeing the government during the decline and death of King George VI and the first few years of Queen Elizabeth II's reign. Churchill, who steps down because of his declining health, is often ranked as one of the UK's best prime ministers and praised for his leadership. We've been looking a little more critically at him these days, though. Specifically, Churchill was openly racist, even for the times. As we re-examine history's celebrated controversial figures, Churchill's legacy is one to asterisk. But let's back up. Winston Churchill was born in Oxfordshire, England on November 30th, 1874. His father was Lord Randolph Churchill, a conservative British statesman and a member of the aristocracy. His mother, Jenny Jerome, was an American heiress. Churchill himself was a poor student, went into the army instead of attending university, and eventually ended up working as a journalist and traveling through the UK Commonwealth. By the time he was 26, he had published five books. Then he did what many white men born into privilege do. He got into politics. Churchill joined the House of Commons in 1900, starting out as a conservative but becoming a liberal in 1904. In his early political career, he championed progressive legislation like government-mandated minimum wage and a national health service. That national health service would eventually come into being in 1948. He got involved in the army again during World War I, but helped lead a failed battle and went back into government, eventually joining back up with the conservatives in parliament. When Adolf Hitler started coming to power in the 1930s, Churchill was one of the few prominent parliament voices who warned about the Nazi party's rise in Germany. He was ignored. The British government went so far as to give Germany the power to annex a part of Czechoslovakia in 1938. When Hitler invaded Poland in 1939, though, it was clear Germany would stop at nothing to gain power and Great Britain went to war. Churchill became prime minister in 1940. Churchill was a major figure in Great Britain and among World War II's allied countries in general. He gave frequent broadcasted speeches urging Britons to stay strong and argued in Parliament for a fierce response against the Nazis. He persuaded the U.S. government to send supplies even before then-President Franklin Roosevelt brought America into the war. The Allies eventually won against the Nazis in 1945. Still, despite his strong record, the same year the Labour Party beat the Conservative Party in a surprise landslide election and Churchill was voted out as Prime Minister. He was replaced by Anthony Eden. Churchill was out of the Prime Minister's seat for six years and spent most of that time speaking out against the USSR and the rise of communism. The Britons missed him, though, and in 1951, he was elected Prime Minister once again. He continued to focus mostly on the quote-unquote communist threat, though he also provided counsel to Queen Elizabeth in her early days. Fun fact, QE2 was only 27 years old when she became queen. The Crown's first season has a pretty good depiction of this time if you've got Netflix. Churchill's health started declining in the early 1950s, and he officially stepped down as prime minister on April 5, 1955. He retired from parliament altogether in 1964 and died one year later. Churchill is celebrated for his wartime leadership and revered among Britons, but in the past few years, his legacy has had a reckoning. Churchill had a history of blatant racism in support of British imperialism. He called Palestinians, quote, barbaric hordes who ate little but camel dung. He called people of color savages and boasted of killing villagers in Asia and Africa during his time abroad. He was particularly cruel toward Indian people whom he declared he hated and called a beastly people with a beastly religion. 
His time as prime minister bookended India's independence from Britain in 1947, and his political maneuvering helped create dissent and fissures that complicated that split. One of his colleagues said that he didn't see much difference between Churchill's outlook and Hitler's. At a Black Lives Matter protest in London in 2020, someone spray-painted racist on a statue of Churchill. The activist who did that was not wrong. It's essential that Churchill's dark side be a part of how we remember him. And now let's talk about music. Today, in 2019, rapper Lil Nas X released the remix to Old Town Road, featuring country music star and Miley Cyrus's dad, Billy Ray Cyrus. Lil Nas X self-released Old Town Road in 2018, sampling a Nine Inch Nails song and buying the beat from producer Young Keo for $30. But don't worry about Young Keo, he'd go on to earn a lot more. The track went viral on TikTok, earning Lil Nas X some legit cred and coining the genre country rap, enough so that Lil Nas X was able to approach Billy Ray, who he was a fan of after watching the Disney Channel show Hannah Montana. The remix was a huge hit, won everything from Grammys to MTV Video Awards, and had us all singing, I got horses in the back, for a whole summer. So happy birthday to the Old Town Road remix. Thanks for going back in time with me, and remember to subscribe wherever you listen to podcasts. Come back tomorrow for more stories from the past. It's 365 with Ricky Montgomery. New facts every day, so don't leave too soon. I'm gonna teach you stuff. No, it won't be tough. Gonna go a year till you've had enough. It's 365. With Ricky Montgomery.